to you. Uh, they said they they're considering legal action for not hire for the state fire marshal not hiring more fire inspectors to cover the backlog of COO inspections. Mm -hmm. uh, they tell me that people have lost everything because of this. Um, what is your response to that as the state fire marshal? Well, it's not as, as simple as hiring more inspectors. Uh, in fact, we're keeping up with the current uh, inspection requests that we're getting. The problem that they ran into was uh, they had their license for a number of years and they were never ever required to obtain a building permit um, or a certificate of occupancy, which is required by state law. And it's also required to obtain your uh, medical marijuana license. And they, they never obtained it. And it was only until last year when they were given a deadline by the Bureau of Narcotics that they chose to submit their application for a building permit. So it's not a matter of a certificate of occupancy. They've never uh, obtained a building permit, which they were required by state statute to do. Um, so we're, we're processing those requests right now. And another part of the problem is of the 7,000 or so applications that they, they brought to this office within a two month period last year because they were facing a deadline. We had to reject about 70% of them because they were flawed or incorrect in some way. And we're still having to deal with that issue. So in some cases, not all, but in some cases, uh, instead of hiring an architect or a design professional, they, they tried to do their building plans themselves. And we accept those, but they have to be correct. And something that uh, we know will uh, meet state code when they submit that. So that's been a big part of the problem as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not, uh, so basically what you're saying is, you know, they're also at, at fault to a degree too for not following uh, the standard, so to speak. Well, all I can tell you is that there were many licensees that did this right from the very start. They obtained their uh building permit and then a certificate of occupancy from this office when they first started their operations. Um, many of these people uh, waited five years after they were given their license to start that process. And when they all came in basically within a two month period, uh, that's, that's what created this backlog. Um, we'll go ahead, we're, they're not in any danger of us uh, putting them out of business, but if they um, run afoul of the Bureau of Narcotics rules or OMMA's rules, uh, that's a different matter. Sorry, I was just adjusting things there. Um, what would be your message to uh, folks who are a little frustrated right now? Well, I understand their frustration. Uh, but I think they have to be realistic in understanding that, uh, you know, this office generally processes about 2,000 permit applications a year. So last year, only when they faced this deadline, uh, they flooded this office with uh, around 7,000 applications in a two-month period. And so I think the expectations for us to turn those around uh, very quickly were a little bit uh, unreasonable and unrealistic. Gotcha. Is there anything else that I haven't asked you that you would like to add? No, I mean, we worked on a uh, Senate bill this past session that actually gave them a little bit more time. Uh, and it basically allowed them to, as long as they had a complete application in this office by February 1st of this year, that no other state agency could take action against their license. And yet some of, so they were afforded an additional amount of protection and time provided they got their application into this office. Um, after that February 1st deadline, we still received about 1700 applications uh, for people seeking a building permit. So I don't know what their status will be. That, that's not up to our agency, that's up uh, to other agencies. Gotcha. All right. Well, I think that's